Last lesson, you have learned that air consists of gases. The gases are oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide and inert gases. Today, let's look at the importance of these gases. The composition of oxygen in air is around 21%. All living things need oxygen for respiration. Oxygen is also involved in combustion. For example, the combustion of rocket engine at high altitudes. Oxygen is also needed for welding and steel cutting. And oxygen is also involved in preparation of various compounds. Next. Let's look at the importance of carbon dioxide in air. The composition of carbon dioxide in air is around 0.03%. Plants use carbon dioxide in the process of making food through process of photosynthesis. Carbon dioxide is used in fire extinguishers. Carbon dioxide is also used to produce carbonated drinks and carbon dioxide is useful in baking. Carbon dioxide is also used to preserve food. And carbon dioxide is also involved in carbon cycle. Nitrogen is the most abundant gas in the air. Nitrogen takes around 78% of air. Nitrogen is used in the production of nitric acid, ammonia and fertilizer. Liquid nitrogen's temperature is around negative 196 degrees Celsius. It is used for a variety of things. For example, scientists use liquid nitrogen to produce the low temperatures necessary in some experiments. And the food industry uses liquid nitrogen to quick freeze food. Nitrogen is also involved in nitrogen cycle. Inert gases is also called noble gases. Inert gases takes up about 0.97% of the air. Helium is the second lightest gas in the world. Helium is used to fill hot air balloons and weather balloons. Neon is used in advertising light. Argon is used in light bulb. Krypton is used commercially as a filling gas for energy saving fluorescent lights. It is also used in some fresh lamps used for high speed photography. Xenon is used in photographic flashes in high-pressure art lamps for motion picture projections and in high-pressure art lamps to produce UV light. Xenon is also used in general anesthetic. Our air is immediate, whiter and intimate and yet it is so easily forgotten. Be thankful to the air and always appreciate the importance of air around us. That's all for today's lesson. Thank you.